Okay, welcome back to Screen Print TV. This is part two of uh, our video that we've done using Saran Wrap. Hold on. Well, this is called Cling Wrap. Using the uh, Cling Wrap to put an image on a t-shirt. You used a image from a magazine. You used a picture from a magazine and it did not adhere to the shirt. And it could be because of the magazine paper has a coating on it that may have something to do with it. But today we're going to try it again, but we're going to we're going to use just plain copy paper. I just printed this out on my um, inkjet printer and we're going to wrap it into saran wrap and we're going to experiment with it. So this is a little bit thinner. This is a little bit thicker. This is a little bit thinner. So we're going to see if that makes a difference and the texture is different on this paper. So just for experimental purposes. I'm just going to use the whole sheet. I'm not going to cut or trim anything. So let's get started. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm just going to lay my saran, my saran, strength wrap. I don't know why I keep calling it saran wrap. All right, we got that ripped off. All right, we got that. We're gonna lay our, I'm gonna pull my camera a little bit so you can see. We're gonna lower, we're going to lay our image on our paper. I'm just gonna press out the air pockets. And then we're just gonna wrap it here the same way we did the last the last time and wrap it here I probably should have centered it better in the on this on the uh, uh, clean wrap that's okay Still should work if it's going to work. Okay. All right, we've got an image here. Okay, we've got an image encased in our cling wrap. And I'm just gonna use the, the bottom section of this t-shirt here. This is the one we used the last time, I did not adhere to. I'm just gonna use the bottom section because this is just, uh, just experimental. 
And after I do this, I'll do a wash test, see how it holds up and wash if it holds up during the uh, pressing. So I'm going to go and press this. And I'll be back with you in, in a second. Okay, I'm back. And this is what we... This is what we got on the plain copy paper. You can see how some of the uh, wrap left a edge on the shirt. All right, let's test it and see if it stays on here. Now I press this right here for About 30 seconds. To make sure that the heat penetrated through the paper. And let's see how it do. Okay, I already see right here. Now it could be this could be could be my error right here where it's peeling up at if you can you can see that it was peeling up at right there but let's try let's try this side over here we'll try this side here where it's not peeling up at and we'll see what happens let's see it peeled up just as easy look look let's see what happens if we just let's see what see what happens here Now some of it is, now right here, now right here it is sticking, but then again I can still put, peel it up. So some of it is sticking, See what we got here. Okay. Now some places on the shirt, see it did it here better, but it still peels off. You can still see that it peels off. And you can see right here where the where the cling wrap separated from the shirt. Also, so my conclusion is the people who do these shirts that you see making these videos online, you're making them for views because this does not work. Yeah, you can put an image on a shirt, but it's not going to hold up. If you work, let's say you work to an event or you work, let's say you're going to an amusement park and you get on rides and you're doing a lot of activity or you're going to the beach and you're, you're going, get in the water with your shirt on, this stuff going to come off. If you're running with it, it's probably going to start peeling off. So, obviously they're just doing this for views because this right here, this is... This is trash. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Because I've seen these videos and I was wondering. To me, it didn't look like it, it worked. You know, I've been in the screen print industry for a long time. And, and I've seen that and I'm like, nah, that's not going to work. But when, it, when you comment on it, they say, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, you know. But these people are doing this just, for, just to get views on their channel, evidently, because I just proved to you twice that this does not work. Yeah, you can adhere it to a shirt, but does it hold up? No. This is a screen print image here on the front of this shirt, and you're not peeling this off. 
you, you cannot peel this off the shirt. You know, he'll go through hundreds of wash cycles before it even start cracking if you cure it correctly. So, as you can pull it, it's not even cracking. So, if you want a shirt, you make sure you get it done professionally by a professional screen printer or another source. You can get it embroidered, you get it sublimated, you can either use HTV to do it. But, do not use copy paper and cling wrap. It do not work. All right, guys, I'm out. I am out. Hit the, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, leave a comment, and share this video. And the next time that you see one of these videos that they're using paper and saran wrap, link my video in that, uh, under that video, and I'll let them know that, nah, that failed. Because I got, I don't use an iron, I, I use a heat press. I got, I got two, I got I got one over there, and I, get this, and I got this small one right here. See, I use heat press to press the shirt, so I don't use an iron, so I'm getting more pressure, more even pressure. And more even heat than those guys are. And they're just using a household iron, so you know that's, that's a disaster right there. So, okay, guys, I am out.